Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do a commodities technical analysis update, our daily update. Uh, we'll cover the, the whole, whole gamut of commodities, at least the ones that I cover, and I'll give you my financial opinion. So let's just dive right in. Uh, we've got the dollar behind me, the DXY slightly lower today. Overall though, uh, lots of strength. This pattern here typically uh, moves in an upward fashion, looking at uh, the, the candlesticks and the size of the candlesticks. I call it a double bloody nose or a little too small down days with the larger up uh, move. So that's continuing to go higher on the dollar uh, overall, uh, but just a small down day today. The 10 year yield uh, heading lower today. Ooh, looks like it was trying to head higher, sold off a little bit throughout the day. Uh, this does look like it wants to work its way higher, uh, given the candlesticks. The candlesticks, larger up days, smaller down days. It's contracting where the buyers are starting to equal the sellers. Uh, usually that leads to, statistically, it leads to a little bit higher move upward. Uh, looking at the CRB index, looks like we're trying to put in some sort of a little bit of support here. Uh, again, we've got strong selling pressure. Uh, the buying pressure has to come in and show me that it wants to move higher. Uh, I, I haven't seen that yet in the short term. Uh, gold moving sideways up a little bit today. Um, not much to really say there. Silver moving sideways, small up day. Again, I don't see any bottoming patterns in any of these things. Uh, so I think either slightly lower to sideways is what I'm going to see. Uh, platinum, same thing. Larger down days, smaller up day. Uh, this could potentially head lower or sideways is kind of what I'm expecting in the short, short term. Uh, XAU to gold ratio. The ratio look, actually looks really good to move higher. Uh, we saw some buying pressure in the mining companies and royalty companies. Uh, they did outperform today. This does look like it wants to bottom and move higher. This does bode well for the precious metals themselves because sometimes the miners show some action where people uh, buy the mining companies before the physical metals, uh, and then they move up together in tandem. Uh, across the sector, like GDX, GDX was higher today, 2.17, bullish engulfing, uh, a little bit higher volume. We'll see if this uh, is, it's a, it's a bullish engulfing that usually means that we could potentially head higher, statistically speaking. Uh, but we still have a lot of momentum coming down. Is this an A, B, C correction? It kind of looks like it to me. And maybe we can get our uh, super high intensity training together and move on higher. Uh, looking at Sil J, the Silver Junior Miner, Miners ETF. We are at support. We're putting in a bullish engulfing. That's good for a potential move higher. Uh, we got to see the buyer step in here. And looking at this, is this kind of an A, B, C correction. It's kind of looking like that. So um, that's where we're at with uh, precious metals. Scrolling on down, looking at crude oil. Crude oil basically finishing flat today. Uh, again, we've got these large selling pressure days here. And the up days are smaller in this movement. Uh, so I still think we're in a corrective phase. I have not seen a bottom yet. But I'm starting to see some life in some of the uh, companies uh, trying to put in a bottom, at least. Uh, natural gas getting a little bit, getting a bit higher today. Uh, is this, I think we'll probably do something on the lines of that. And then we'll work on our, work our way higher, I think. Uh, so that's kind of my guess. Again, that's just a guess. I'm not selling anything. I'm not trading in and out. Uh, but that's what that looks like. XOP, yeah, you know me. Uh, we've got this nice kind of pullback here. I mean, this is pretty low. We're 36.74% on the pullback here. We haven't pulled and made a newer low. This is a bullish engulfing, so we got some buying pressure today. You know, this here, it doesn't look as bad. Does it have more downside left? Difficult to say. We could throw up all this Elliott wave analysis, uh, and you can you can kind of try your best here, but you know. Cost averaging in is a strategy. It is quite low right now, and it doesn't look horrible. 
but there could be further downside left in this thing. Uh, OIH, another one that looks like it's somewhat, you know, let me get a better, better tool in here. It does look like it's trying to contract up into some so sort of corner here. So, you know, is this the bottom? We got to see the break to the upside. This could very well break to the downside. You could also get a false breakout to the downside where they, they scare everybody out and then it slingshots higher. Uh, possibility there. But it is kind of squeezing up here uh, into the corner for OIH, the MG service companies. I'm kind of seeing that in XOP. Uh, it looks like we're trying to turn here. Uh, that's why it's basically slowing down in its size of the candlesticks. It's also slowing down in terms of price movement. That usually means that the buyers are starting to equal the sellers and that we could potentially be turning at some point. Uh, moving on down, lot, coal is up quite big today. That's looking a little bit stronger. Uh, we're at 46.70 for future prices. The Sprott Physical Uranium Trust does have a bullish uh, hammer pattern. This could be trying to put in a short-term bottom. Again, we have to see how the buyers react to this. We have to see some buying pressure that lays a fat candlestick that looks like that. Uh, what that means is you got a big bullish engulfing and that we could potentially head higher. But we, we haven't seen it yet. We just have a, a bullish hammer candlestick, which means we could have a short-term bottom. We got to see what the size of the bounce is, is what I'm waiting for. Uh, URNM, another one that doesn't look bad. Uh, it looks like we're trying to turn here. We see a large selling pressure move here, a smaller selling pressure move, smaller selling pressure, smaller selling pressure, smaller selling pressure. The buyers are starting to equal the sellers. That's what the contraction in the size of the moves are. And we've got good looking candlesticks on the right hand side over here where there's not much selling pressure. We're getting more buying pressure and it's starting to turn where I think the buyers are starting to take control. That's good. Uh, hopefully the overall markets hold up well in this thing. Also, we could say that we've got wave one, wave two, wave three, wave five, and then we're in a corrective phase. And is that phase, that corrective phase over? A, B, C, correction. That kind of looks like it as well. So, you know, it doesn't look too bad down here for uranium. And just like looking at CCJ, just to pull up a, the main uranium uh, mining company. It does have a bullish engulfing. It is on its support line and it doesn't look bad to try to take a move, you know, make a move here. I got to see the buyers step in here and show me that they're, they're willing to push this higher. Uh, coming on down to tan uh, so solar, it's just chopping sideways at this time. Yep. Just seeing if I could see any uh, patterns there. Uh, this guy is still in a corrective phase. Let me see here. Basically came on up. This is a corrective phase at the top here. And we're right at support. Is this corrective phase done? Uh, we've got good support right there. That's a good retest move. Uh, so copper's looking a little bit better. Let's look at the price of copper itself, the futures. We're getting a little bit of buying pressure today. Uh, but again, we've got a lot of downside momentum still. Hopefully we can put a big uh, hammer candlestick here if the buyers can push this higher throughout the month. But we could do something on the lines of like that and then move higher. Coming on down, XHB, or er, one second here, COP. Platinum ratios, I'll skip over those. Don't really need to go over those. Lithium price, uh, just been tracking sideways for with lithium. Uh, rare earth metals is putting in a nice big bullish engulfing. It is a false, potential false breakdown with a slingshot potential in play at this time. Uh, so nice good buying pressure here. We'll see if the buyers can step in and push it higher. Lithium also getting some buying pressure. Nice big bullish engulfing today. That looks a lot better. Uh, coming on down, we were down in the S&P 500 some. Again, this is still in a downtrend for the S&P 500. The NASDAQ composite was down today, but 
It fought throughout the day uh, and ended higher than where it opened, but it's right on support of the downtrend line. Looking at, we'll do emerging markets. I see that here. This guy's been in a downtrend. It is not broken out. And I do not see any sort of turn uh, at this time. Uh, XHB, which is the Home Builders ETF, uh, it's trying to break out to the upside here. It's a nice, good bullish engulfing. Buyers step in, we break the downtrend, and we could potentially be on our way of making a new uptrend, depending on how, how high it goes. But it's going to take some time. Lumber moving on. Looks like it wants to move higher. I like how we've got big buying pressure, small selling pressure. Uh, that usually wants to move on up. So that looks a little bit better. Uh, looking at something like wheat, just moving sideways. Lots of selling pressure there. Uh, we've got soybeans, which are still in a corrective phase. Uh, I think it still looks a little weak. And then corn still looks a little weak as well with a big drop and some good downsized candlestick selling pressure. Moving on to Moo, the agribusiness ETF. Still, uh, we've got this corrective phase going. And this thing could be getting close to being done. Uh, and, and what you usually get here is a move lower. Then you get some sort of move higher. And then another move lower. <clears throat> and that is your corrective phase of what it looks like. And then we'll see if it can get some buying pressure in here uh, for a potential move on up. Coming on down, looking at aluminum. Aluminum was flat today. There we are, flat. Lots of momentum down here. We got to turn this thing around uh, before it goes higher. Uh, we've got Baltic Dry Index getting a little bit of selling pressure. 2013 looks like most of the companies were up today. But the Baltic Dry Index uh, was a little bit lower today. Uh, so that's what I've got for today, guys, in the overall um, commodities market update. Uh, some of these could be starting to try to put in a bottom here. I got to see some more buying pressure. Uh, the ones that I like are energy related. Uh, they, they're starting to look good to me. And that's where my focus would be. Uh, if you guys want to know the companies that I am investing in, sign up to the channel. I'll give you a midweek update on the on the website today. And you can see that uh, today and what I'm looking at and the companies that I'm potentially uh, gonna, gonna be looking at to buy. All right, guys, uh, that's what I've got for today. Give me a thumb up for the content, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.